Now we're ready to develop the equations for the nonlinear pieces of our puzzle. This is another time where I need to assume that you're reasonably comfortable with graphical transformations as well as function composition. You know, f of g, g of f, all that good stuff. I'm going to first demonstrate with a sinusoidal segment, which I'll isolate right now. And hopefully you'll see how the process can just as easily be applied to parabolas, other conics, or really any function at all. With a dashed curve, I'm going to complete one full period of the sinusoid. We see that the period measures 12 units, the amplitude measures 7 units, and the sinusoidal axis is 5 units above the t-axis. Referring to the full unrestricted sinusoid as g of t, a skilled trigonometry or precalculus student should be able to derive an equation such as g of t equals 7 sine pi over 6 t minus 5 with a vertical translation up 5 units. If for some reason you really prefer to use cosine instead, that's fine. You could use cosine right here and this would become minus 8. That works perfectly well, but I'm going to go back to sine. Let's think of the input, t, as a function, f of t, in its own right. Then we could substitute f of t in for t, and we see that we now have our composite function. f of t has been plugged into the sinusoid equation. Now, this is a bit unconventional, but I like to write the same equation graphically like this. This sinusoid equals 7 sine of pi over 6, and I'll leave a little space there, minus 5 plus 5. And in here I'll draw a graph of the function f of t equals t. Now we don't want this sinusoid to oscillate over the infinite domain of the function. We only want it to oscillate from t equals 5 to t equals 8. So for that short interval of t values, We'll just leave the input function alone. We're getting the desired outputs over that stretch. Similar to the polyline functions earlier, we don't want to cause problems by restricting the domain. We don't want that to be our entire function. Instead, also like the polyline functions from earlier, we want it to just flatten out to a constant value like this as we go to the right and like this as we go to the left. How do I make that happen? How do I get constant output values? Well, if I want constant output values, I need constant input values. That would work, right? If this inner function now produces 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, when I plug that into the sinusoid equation, it will output 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. 12. I'm speaking of this 12 right here on the vertical axis. Similarly, if this inner function is producing 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 over here, when I plug that 5 into the sinusoid equation, it will produce, coincidentally, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 on the output curve as well. Constant stretches of input will produce constant stretches of output. So let's get rid of this old input function. And what equation should we replace it with? Well, this looks a lot like the polylines we saw earlier. And now we need to find the equation for this special case polyline, f of t.